This is a truly serious and exceptional drought. Traditionally, the river flows at about 170 to 160 cubic feet per second. Today, we're at 93. The main thing we have is very, very low flows. And those of you who tube and canoe, you've seen it. The river is a trickle of its former self. Yeah. We have a lot of endangered species. We have eight of them. And they're almost all affected by low flows. Uh, the Texas blind salamander, uh, the riffle beetle, the Texas wild rice, just to name a few. And these shallow areas are getting so shallow that some of the wild rice tops are exposed to the sun, which fries them. Clings to the bottom of the San Marcos River and only lives in the first half mile of our river. Because of the drought conditions, any potential pollution that we may input into the system will have a greater effect. And if we have a dry year next year, as many people are predicting, then we are worried about the future of the San Marcos River and its flowing springs.